Okay, I've, I've just found something. Could be a major find. Major find. Oops. Wow! Right. Oh, it's a fish! <laughs> Find. Look at that. It's missing the top, but it's still a lovely find. So it's a it's a nink well, Victorian or Lake Georgian. You can see that. You can hardly see what it is, but I like the patina. Look at that. Probably there is a loop there. Yeah, anyway, let's let's work. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You see it? Looks like the face of a child and part of uh, well, the left arm and then part of the uh, right arm. Yeah, but what is it? By the way, it's metal. You know. It's not the top of a clay pipe. That's a great find. One more coin. I think it's a two people. Look at that. Could be a Georgian. decided to dig that. And it looks like an Irish. Oh. I think this is a uh, George the second. Yeah. And I can see a half in the reverse. So is that a is that a can you see it? Is that the um, Irish of King George? second I think so nice one okay so um it came out from there it pro it's probably a coin that has been damaged as you can see there so we're gonna look at that in a minute but I've just noticed that there is a there's a bottle there or maybe just the top of the Let's find out. Just leave the coin there. Let's 
too. Just a mode, just a mode. Huh? Oh no, just a top. Worth trying anyway. Right, so uh, let's see if we can clean this point here properly. So many of those. So let's see. Let's see what's in here. The coin is badly damaged. If it's a coin. going to be cleaned by electrolysis, that's the only way to find out, because I can't really see much there. And, uh, and judging by the metal, so it might be a, a counterfeit. be the top of a marmalade jar. Yeah, 
so as you can see it it's um it's been attached to something so maybe leather or something like that so it's a nice find <laughs> Right, now that, that could be a good find. I haven't seen it yet, but it could be a brooch, military brooch or something like that. It came out from there. And I have high hopes that this could be a nice find. Fingers crossed. I don't think it's a metal or anything like that, but it looks very interesting. So no more cleaning here till I get home and find out what there is. Got something here, there somewhere. Came out from there. So let's see where the signal is. alarm again another little coin here not coin but looked like a coin there's a hole in the middle so it might have been a button or I don't know So cold today. Yeah, I think it's a button. A tiny little button. Yeah, there you go. Right. Okay, I've, I've just found something. Could be a major find. Major find, or it could be absolutely the opposite. See it. So I'm taking my moment here to enjoy that, but it could be absolutely nothing. But it could be a token that perhaps would have been a I have a coin, but it's uh, now I can see it's not. So it might be a false alarm, but we have to try and see what it is. So wish me luck here.
afraid. Can you see? Do you see what I mean by the? Uh, by the decoration on both sides. And I don't know. So I need to keep it. And here's another button. So that came out from uh, that little hole in there and it's a lovely little button The object you saw earlier in my video turned out to be a coin and it's one of my oldest finds from the River Thames it's an Iron Age coin made from an alloy with high tin content. It would have appeared silver when new and there is no gold content in it. The coloration is due to the preservation condition in the anaerobic sediments of the river Thames. The coin is a potin that's the name given to it and potings were the first coins made in this country late second to first half of the first century BC they predate gold and silver British issues and the coin I found has been recorded by the Fines liaison officer and it dates 75 to 55 BC it's originally from the Kent region in the UK, attributed to the Cantiati. The observe outlined the head of the Greek god Apollo, facing right. The reserve outlined butting bull of curved lines. It's mind-boggling when you think that this coin was lost in the River Thames for sure well over 2,000 years ago. Someone dropped it in the Thames and then a few years later, here I am, I found it and it's now with me. So it's mind-boggling when you think that way, but you know, you shouldn't really think too much about these things. Let them happen and I'll bring you some more finds in a new video soon. The River Thames keeps giving and this is one of my best finds from this historic river.